How are we doing guys? Welcome back to the channel and this is episode 6 of my guide through. So we're going to go back on to Hanzo and continue questing. It's getting pretty close to the Guardian release date. As of the recording of this video, it is the eve, I say Guardian, I apologize, the Nova release date. As of the recording of this video, it is the eve of the release date, so it is the 21st, it will be releasing tomorrow. And I'm going to try and power through as much as possible because I kind of want to do the level up event for the Nova as I'm pretty sure the rewards will be uh, pretty good as uh, pretty good for our uh, count. Um, but yeah, we'll see how far we get through. Um, and now I'm pretty sure you guys are in a good position to start editing your UI. You could have done this a lot earlier. You could have done this in the very first episode, but... We decided just to play the game a little bit so you can get a hang of the mechanics. But now that we have a hang of the mechanics, let's do some editing. So I'm going to do it with like how I, how I like to edit my UI. Obviously, it is semi-personal choice. But I am going to keep everything's position exactly the same um, on this account as um, I have it on my eu account just for muscle memory so i don't click on the wrong places i don't want to mess things up for me um so uh on the on these on this top bar here that we're on we can edit these and we can edit these as well so on the top one i'm sticking with escape escape for the first one uh so easy access and pvp inventory for my second one and i didn't press y i always do this remember to press y when you finish uh, i like putting my world map over here and next to the world map, we've got the central market. Next to the central market is going to be the Black Spirit. Uh, I've got to figure out where the Black Spirit is. There we go. See, now next to the Black Spirit on my main account, I've got a tents but, you, and a ferry. We don't have access to these at the minute. So I'm going to keep settings there. And probably since... Yeah, we're going to be... We're gonna be going into our skills a lot i'm gonna put skills up here but i don't know i don't know exactly what i want to put in these two yet we'll come back and change it if we feel like it um i like what's here at the minute we could probably unping skills since we have it up there now but i'm not going to do that at the moment uh we are probably going to be using i pressed y <laughs> we are probably be going to using the crafting notes pretty regularly on this account so we're going to lock that into position, and I think it's right trigger you press, and then lock menu. Uh, what other stuff are we probably going to use a lot? Uh, I don't think we're going to use our mail that much. Ring menu, uh, we're going to be messing with that a decent amount. Uh, Black spirit safe, we're going to lock that into position as well. Uh, what other bits and bobs? Let's go to life skilling, processing for sure. So first we have to click on processing so it comes over here and then right uh, right trigger and lock that into place. Edit UI. Oh, so we've got to click on it first to get it here and then we're going to lock that into place. And that's pretty much it for these but let's go into our settings because... I'm not even sure what I have on these settings at the minute for my NA account. So we're going to mess around with that. Character optimization. I'm just going to max this out. Uh, hide other adventures depending on the situation. Yeah, now we're going to keep that off. This is good if you're on old gen. Um, but if you are a PvP player that's a large scale, you definitely don't want this to be on. Because then you're not going to see your enemies when you need to see them. Show attack decisions. Um, I keep this off. You can turn it on. This will start. Let me show you what happens if you have this on. When you hit something. Oh, it, did I not save? Oh, there we go. It did it there. So crit and back attack uh, show up. I wish I had something a bit tankier. So you see I've got back attack. Those little things there. So it lets you know like back attacks, crits and all that kind of information. If you like having that, uh, turn that on. Me, personally, I don't. It's just too much clutter for my screen. So I keep that off. Hide other adventurous outfits. I mean, you can leave this on or off. It doesn't really seem to affect my... I don't notice it, to be honest. Uh, work of progress. Show work of progress. Just going to keep that off for now. 
Uh, display quality, remove other adventurous effects. This is useful in Node War Siege environments, large scale fights. Um, if you are having optimization issues, if you're lagging a lot, this will reduce your lag a little bit. But I would recommend keeping it off because it's, it's good to see animations. Um, it lets you know what your opponent is doing for PvPs and lets you counter it. Uh, show blood spatter. I, I don't really like to have stuff hitting my screen like bloods. Like I like to see everything clearly, so I keep that off. If you like to be more immersed, you can turn this on. But performance-wise, performance it's better as well. It's better to keep this off. Uh, adjust the settings for on-screen blood effects. So, so I just keep that off as well. Similar concept to the previous one. Uh, effects, gamma, I'm not going to change that. Camera range, um, if you want to know why I'm so zoomed in, because my camera range is 70. So if you want to be as zoomed out as me, uh, turn your camera range to 70. Definitely turn 4K off if you uh, have performance issues or if you like PvP. But again, for immersion, if you want that on, you can. Uh, volume, I'm actually going to turn music volume on right now because I don't even know. <laughs> I don't really know. Apparently, we're going to get the Christmas music tomorrow, but I can't remember the music in this uh, in this uh, game. So we're going to turn that on just to see what that is. Uh, fairy voice, I'm going to turn off. We don't have a fairy right now, but it can get annoying. And let's go, so that was audio, yeah, let's go to general. Show sure, hide, now I keep my name hidden. I don't like having my name on my screen. If you turn it on, um, you'll see your health bar, your stamina bar, and your name and your family name above your health bar if you do turn it on. Oh, and here's another, there's something I always do. It's, this is a force of habit. If you look at the chat, it's pretty, um, it goes pretty high. I don't like my chat going that high. I like to uh, make it shorter, so if you press select, and then press left trigger and Y. Uh, that will shorten your chat bar there. And I don't like having my name. It's just more clutter on the screen. I try to keep my screen as clean as possible. So we turn that off. Display the names of other adventurers. Yes, you want to keep that on. You want to keep these on as well. Uh, I keep this off. If you want to keep it on, go ahead. Notifications, marketplace, yes. Enhancer says yes. Uh, enhancement fails, yes. Guild missions, I'll keep that off. Items obtained, yes. Uh, this optional, I, I would like, I'd like keeping it. I like to see what's happening with different people in the game in terms of enhancements. It lets you have an idea of what's going to hit the central market sometimes. Language, obviously, whatever language you're playing. Crossplay, you have to keep this. Don't turn this off. Keep this on. Play with uh, Adventure with Save Plant for keeping that off. Overall camera effect. So this is a uh, camera shake. 100% would recommend uh, keeping this off. Let me show you. If if you turn it on, like I don't know, I don't, I don't like my camera shaking whatsoever. Even for immersion, I don't think it's great. Uh, so yeah, so I keep that off. I don't have a navigation guide on. I'm very used to the mini map. Um, however, obviously, if you're new, uh, this might be helpful seeing this little line on the ground to direct you to where you need to go. Uh, this is when you put markers uh, to take you to places. You, you literally see on the ground which road you're meant to take. Again, I'm pretty, I know them how to use the mini map in my environment. I've played the game for a long time. So for me, personally, I just keep this off to keep everything clean, like I've mentioned a few times. Always reject party get guild invitations. We're going to keep that off for sure. Always reject jewel requests. Keep it off. Trade off. Rotate minimap. Definitely keep this off so you know your north, south, east, and west. Um, or north, east, south, west if we're going in the right order. But yeah, uh, definitely keep this off because especially for PvP uh, calling out directions, it's, you, you don't want to say the guy's over there or he's on the right. You say he's north or east or south or west of our bull. Stuff like that. Hide UI when attacked, uh, keep this off. Basically, if you like any inventory and something hits you, it takes you out of your inventory. Eh, no, just, just keep it off. Uh, auto run camera on, these on, guild member login on. You can turn this off if you want. It just gives you a notification if uh, people log in. Actually, I'm probably gonna turn that off, to be honest. It's just a personal preference. Hide other campsites, uh, I like keeping this on. I don't like to see other people's campsites because um, it can get a bit cluttery during world bosses, and on top of that, if you're PvPing, you have, someone's got a campsite somewhere, then the person is behind the campsite, in the campsite, you can't really see them, so that's why I like to keep that on. And reject frame requests, we're going to keep that off. 
Action hotkeys, not ch touching anything there. Vibration, I would recommend keeping this off. Um, immersion sakes, you can turn on. PvP is beneficial to have it off. Uh, quick turn, I don't like this function. Uh, maybe some of you will, but if you basically double tap, you double tap your right stick in a direction, it does a 180 camera turn. I don't really like it, so I keep it off. Invert, I don't like using inverts, so yeah, that's definitely off. And here we go, sensitivity. Um, I would recommend getting used to playing with 100 horizontal sensitivity settings and then reduce your vertical to like 30 to 40. Um, the vertical going up and down in your camera really isn't that important on BDO. Maybe you can make arguments for classes like Archer. Maybe you want it a bit higher, maybe around 40 to 50 or 60. Um, if, and like range classes like Suck Witch Wizards, you know, to be able to hit people off the top of um, forts and stuff. Maybe you want that a little bit higher for those specific type of ranged classes. But classes like um, ninja and melee classes that don't have that kind of ranged kit, uh, you don't really need to be looking up and down. You're really looking more left than right. And yeah, a manual camera for that one. Uh, so notices, this is a lot here. So I not changing anything there. Not changing anything here. System, Genesis and chat. Uh, um, I like to keep this on. It's not okay. Let me just confirm. And we're going to come back. All right, let's try that again. So we're going to come down. I don't know. Okay, that seemed to fix it. I don't know what, I, I just turned one of these off and on and that kind of fixed the bug. But anyway, marketplace, uh, you're gonna keep this one on. Workers, I keep it off. Farming, I keep it off. The marketplace is really important. Um, it's gonna give you in your chat window, so on the bottom left, when prices fluctuate uh, heavily, it will give you a little um, update on the bottom left of where your chat window is. Uh, it's kind of useful. And then on top of your screen, as you can see as well, like when certain items get listed, like uh, Pearl Shop items, it goes up there as well to give you a notification. So it is uh, it is pretty, pretty good. I would recommend keeping that on. And I can't actually remember exactly how far we've gotten, but I'm gonna remote collect our horse here to have it close by. And we are here. So, ah, I left it here for a reason. We want to unlock the Keplin Quarry node. Um, I would recommend not wasting energy like I just did, but I want to speed things up a little bit. And we're going to hire a worker. I actually really shouldn't have wasted my energy because I've got to hire a worker. That was silly. Uh, how much silver have I got on me? Enough. Let's contract a worker. Hopefully, hey, we finally got a blue goblin. All right, so we're definitely hiring this guy. Um, we want to send him to get coal for you at Keplin Quarry. Uh, this is really important for making steel that's gonna be used. You combine coal with melted iron shards to make steel, and steel has got a, a lot of versatile uses. What we're gonna use it for is probably making tools, well, definitely making tools. So yeah, we are going to have that guy, grab us coal. And now we need to continue our questing. So we're going up there. We've got 252 million. So we sold some stuff, it's maybe like seven mil. Yeah, seven-ish mil. That's good. Uh, what's the price of memfrags on NA? It's still relatively the same as it was last time as we checked. Yeah, things are looking pretty good. 257 mil is pretty decent. I would like to be able to buy a tri Kazaka, to be honest. It's probably gonna be one of my first purchases. But I don't think we have enough money yet. Yeah, we're about 100 mil short. We're gonna try and min bid, or get a close to min bid to pick one of these up. And this is really important. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get anyone from NA to hit me up with a guild invite. You really do want to get yourself in a guild. Hopefully it's not going to be too difficult to get into a guild, but what you're going to do first, come to the pro shop, come to your loyalties, scroll down and pick up, uh, where is it? 
Megaphones. You're going to grab one of these. And you're going to go to your chat. You're going to scroll over to world chat. And let me plug in my keyboards. Here. And you, you're basically looking for a guild, so it'd be like new player, new player, looking for a guild. Ninja main. And like, let them know what class that you play. Um, hopefully people will get back to you. Now, I could cheat a little bit and let people know that I'm Lord X on YouTube. That might help me get a guild a little bit easier, but we're not going to do that. We'll see if anyone messages us to see how uh, how this system goes. Hopefully we can get into a guild. There's a couple of buffs that you get for being in a guild. If they do uh, payouts every week, you have an opportunity to get paid by a guild, which will help you raise some money. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, but yeah, we will see. So we've got a few messages already, so it's looking pretty good. I don't really want to ask too many questions. I'm just going to go with the first person here that's... Oh, I don't want my horse to die. Hold on. Ah, so my horse to die. I don't want myself to die either. So let's get into a safe spot. We're dying faster than the horse right now. Okay. Looking for a chill guild. One of the things you really look for is to have access to guild quests and bosses. So. Access to bosses. We'll see. Um, the main thing you're looking for is uh, guild bosses and guild quests. So we'll see which person gets back to us. At the moment, just from reading this message, uh, Roman Holiday. Um, in terms of messages, it's giving me more information than uh, Cylan. Oh, these are two different people. I thought these were the same people. There's actually three different ones. So, Citrin Tazasiza, I don't know how you say that guy's name, but he doesn't have access to Garmoth, so might not want to go for him. Okay, I think we're going to go with Roman. From the information that we've got so far, we also have full buffs. Yeah, Roman, they've got full buffs. They do... Okay, so Roman is the guild we're going to go. That sounds perfect for me. Is the guild we're going to go for.
Um, you do have to be on the same server as the person's guild, the, the person inviting you to the guild. So we're going to ask you on what server that is. Just be nice to people. Thanks for the message. Thanks for the message. Uh, looks like I Okay. Okay, so we're going to go to M1. Perfect, Roman Holiday is an officer. Mm, that sounds a bit gay. <laughs> okay, it's fine, dude. Maybe I should have worded that a bit better. I think I have to add him as a friend. Oh, he's not on M1. You've got to wait for him to get on M1. So, there you go. We've got a few important things done today. We are in a guild now. Um, probably should have done this earlier. I mean, you can probably tell with the way I'm communicating with you, my man, that I'm over 18. Let's give him some more information. Just to give him some more information if I am. Okay, we're just going to stay in a safe spot because he's probably going to invite me to the guild any second.
Yeah, so, yeah, I'm just staying here until we get the, uh, there we go, lovely jubbly, 14 day contract. And let's have a look at some guild information. Okay, so let's have a look at the guild information. Guild points, 27 out of 304. 63, it's a pretty large guild. It's pretty good. Uh, the name of the guild is Disgruntled Vets. I like it, dude. I like it. Uh, let's see what their officer to non-officer ratio is. So they've recently recruited a few new players. Uh, they got a bunch of cannon. It seems to be mostly an Xbox guild as well, by the looks of it. Yep, Guildmaster is also on Xbox. Uh, yeah, pretty looks pretty solid. Let's have a look at the guild buffs. So they don't have all the guild buffs yet. I think these are some of these are new as well. But they do have like the accuracy stuff here. There's some stuff they need to get still. But they are making a pretty good uh, effort at going through everything. They've got combat and skill. That's good. They probably need to unlock this one soon as well. Money maker is pretty useless. I mean, it's kind of useful, but it's the other stuff is just more useful. Yeah, it's it is a decent guild. It's a good size. So even though they don't have all the guild um, skills yet, uh, what they do have access to is a lot of members to do stuff for them. So, And um, if you can see here, you can see that outfits just got registered to the market. This is really, really, this is one of the main reasons you want, um, uh, what's it called? This is one of the main reasons you want marketplace information on in your chat. Because uh, outfit sniping is going to be important if you want to do enhancing later. Skill has not been learned yet. Okay, I need to... Did I reset my skills somehow? By accident? No? Okay, um... Let me go to a ring menu. I'm just going to replace these skills in case I updated them and I forgot. There we go. Alright. That took half an hour. So that took a bit a little longer than I wanted it to. However, this is important and you guys now saw everything that I did right there to get into a guild. Super easy. Put the message out there. Three different guilds straight away. Um, asked me for invites. And it's really early in the morning in NA right now. So it's not even peak time. So it would be even easier if you do this at peak time. Okay, we've got to summon the Black Spirit. Alright, now we've got to kill some mud monsters. Just 13 of these. It should only take a second. Man is really annoying in the early game. <laughs> Probably going to level up Brace, to be honest, just so I can activate that more often. Reduce the cooldown on it. Okay, 
Okay, that monster's resetting, so we can't kill it. And uh, one thing I haven't mentioned, um, I might actually do like an episode three and a half because currently I might, I'm, I'm, I think I'm recording episode seven. I've only posted three episodes on YouTube. Um, I might make a mini like five, ten minute episode uh, talking about leaving your console on because now that you've got a node empire and everything set up, you want to leave your console on as much as possible. So when you're AFK, when you're sleeping, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you want to leave it on so it can accumulate a uh, your workers can accumulate items for you and level up. Uh, one good thing that goes hand in hand with that is doing some AFK life skills. Right now, the life skills well, the, the things you'll be AFKing is uh, strength training and horse leveling, like leveling up this horse, try and get the right skills on it. Uh, it they're, they're both really really easy to do, but just talking about it in this episode, I am gonna make a quick video on um just with what afk stuff you should be doing right now and why you should be afking and the reason why you should be afking is for i gotta kill 30 of these guys okay it's for allowing your workers to gather as many resources from the nodes for you and on top of that um you do need to level up your horse you do need to level up your strength which allows you to carry more it gives increases your weight so these are important things that you should be doing. Um, I really won't be leaving my, I mean, I'll be leaving my Xbox on, but I'll be on my EU account when I'm doing these AFK type of activities because on my EU account with my setup, I can generate a lot of money AFK. Um, right now we're not generating money on the NA account. We'd be generating value um, and just useful stuff. So, as important as it is, and it's going to slow my progression down a little bit on this NA account, but um, I really don't want to stop progressing my AF, like, I don't want to stop progressing on my EU account completely, so I am spending some active time on my NA, but I'll be spending my passive time on EU. Like I said, it's not great for the series, because it's going to slow me down. You guys should have a little advantage over me with, these, um, with the AFK activities that you're going to be doing. I'm going to be pretty limited on weight for a while and I'm going to be pretty limited with my horse because my horse is going to take a very long time to level up and it's probably not going to get the right skills and I'm going to be really upset but uh, time will tell. Alright, we're going to summon the black spirit. How far away is the dark portal? It's not really too far away. I need to make sure I leave my ho uh, my horse somewhere safe. We're gonna be killing Dimtry in just a second, and uh, definitely want the horse not to die during the engagement. I mean, one thing I probably won't sell this horse straight away until I get a direct upgrade because it does have instant excel. I'm really hoping it learns at least sprint. Um, but even if the horse doesn't get any of those two skills, I'll hold on to it until I get a horse that does get two skills, and then I'll sell this one is most likely what's going to happen. But we're not too far away from being able to unlock Succession and Awakening. It's level 56 for both, I'm pretty sure. So we are getting there. We are definitely getting there slowly, but surely. Open our black spirit after killing Dimtri. Gain some rewards. Another inventory slot. Fantastic. We want as many of those as physically possible. Okay, 
we got a couple of stones as well. So let's click on these stones to open our enhancing menu. Uh, let's enhance this bad boy a little bit more. And that's as far as she goes. Is it higher AP than this one yet? I can't tell. Not quite yet. Uh, and let's enhance this guy. How do you fail? Two times. Oh, I can't even use the Nader's thing yet. Uh, we'll try and upgrade this one. Oh, we don't have any stones. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, we've got some money in our inventory as well. I'm thinking about progression, and I just realized something. I think I know actually which weapon I'm going to buy first. It's not going to be the Zarka. Because uh, our shuriken is terrible. It definitely needs to be upgraded ASAP. Why is this more expensive than Zarka's? Uh, no, not Kryo, not SK. Is this the AP one? Where's the... Oh, it is the SDK? Okay, my bad. I mean, this is like the same price as a freaking Tri Kazaka. Why would I want to buy this? Uh, we're going to make our own. This is crazy expensive, uh, NA peeps. <laughs> For your SDKs, this is really, really expensive. Um, but at least you got quite a lot on the market. EU doesn't have a lot of these on the market. And the plus 13 is relatively cheap here. If I get a plus 15, I can skip the enhancing process. Use a lot of AP. Uh, and then we can do the rest of the enhancing ourselves. So I'm going to have to stop selling stones real soon. Well, like now. Uh, well, yeah, we're going to make our second purchase here. This is definitely worth it. The sub weapon that you get is pretty terrible. Um... This, what's it called? What's the sub weapon called? This one, the, the Naru, it's terrible compared to this because it's it's like a hybrid Kudum kind of thing. It's not really a Kudum either, but this is just pure AP. So it just has a uh, lot, it's just a lot better. It's a lot better. And it's going to give us a nice AP boost. It's got 21 AP compared to one to three. So yeah. Uh, we will be upgrading this one ourselves because it's way too expensive for the central market. We'll most likely be buying our Kazaka though. But most likely it's pretty much definitely. And let's have a look. Actually, that's another thing. Let's have a look at something else. These guys are full energy. Uh, we probably want to gather that we've got full energy on them. I do want to, so as much as I do, I should be gathering some meat right now with those characters, maybe even selling that meat on the central market um, and saving the sharps to be able to enhance the sub weapon. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, the reason I'm not going to do that is I really want to get into position to be able to start leveling up the Nova as soon as possible. But yeah, these are two really, really good items to buy. Even like this is the early game, like a plus 13 to 15 short sword is really good to buy. And this will keep us going till mid game because um, we're just going to upgrade this straight into a Kutum. It's going to take a while before we can do that. But this is going to help us to get to places like Nagas and Fergans. We're going to probably upgrade it to Duo or Tri. We'll see um, how the stacks go. But I'm imagining duo or try is where we're going to take that. And with your shies, when they're max on energy like they are, you should just be gathering meat um, and probably just selling on the central market. I remember the meat, if I remember correctly, the meat prices are pretty good here on NA. So it's a good way of uh, making a little bit of income in this early game. So yeah, there's plenty of pre-orders and you know every thousand is nine mil. Uh... You're probably getting three to five hundred for using all your energy, which doesn't take long. And that's going to net you four mil. Doesn't sound like a lot, but right now making four mil for you is pretty goddamn difficult. So making these four mils incrementally is uh, is going to be good for you. But like I said, I'm just trying to speed ahead right now so I can get some accessories from the main quest line. 
and uh, start upgrading into some armors. So when Nova comes out, I can power level her to the required level um, as quickly as humanly possible. But yeah, we will get there. And if you're not playing Ninja, um, your sub weapon might not be cool. It's definitely not going to be called SDK. What you're looking for in the sub weapon car category is the one that has only AP. So this one you see has got AP and DP, the Kriya Shield. Kai Shield's just DP. Rosa Shield's AP, DP. Nuva, well, it's a boss item. Axion is just AP. So for the Warrior, you get the Axion Shield. Uh, for Rangers and. For rangers and wizards and witches, you get the steel dagger. For sorks, you get the druby talisman. You see, it's just got AP. Ornamental knot for DKs and um, zerkers. Berserkers, you get the that one. Oros, ornamental knot. For tamers, I think it's the needle. Yeah, tamers, you get the needle trinket. So you just get the one that just has AP on it. Um, Try and get a plus 15 if you can from the central market. EU, you might have an issue with this one. So later on, what I would have done is you'd have to enhance your own. Um, is you'd come here to Mains Hideout. And I think it's Mains. Now it might actually be Sword, uh, not Soldier's Grave. Uh, actually, I think it's Wandering Rogue. You'd come to Wandering Rogue and you'd kill Wandering Rogue later on after you finish your missions. Um, and as you kill Wandering Rogues, they'll drop trash. That trash you can take to Tariff, which I think Tariff is around here, somewhere around here. It's pretty close. I think it's, I don't know, it's somewhere around here for Tariff. Uh, just click on the trash and it will actually take you to the NPC you need to go to. And you can exchange it for an offensive weapon box. Make sure it's not the defensive one, but an offensive weapon box. If you do that, um, it will give you an offensive sub-weapon box and you open it on the character that you want the weapon on. And it'll give you a bunch of base AP offhands, and then you just start enhancing them. So that's how that goes. And now we're back over here. Talk to this old dude. There's a chair in the middle of the open, you know, makes sense. That's, you know, I'd put a massive throne, well, I say massive, a relatively decent looking throne chair right there too. <laughs> With his, I don't know, these daughters, his mage, his mistresses, I'm not really sure. All right, so that's done. Now we've got to go into the Keplin Mines, just carefully drop down here without killing anything. It doesn't actually matter if your horse dies to full damage, it doesn't go to its death counter. It's only if it dies to PvE mobs. So don't worry about that too much. Despite the appearance, the stables we'll recover the horse. Oh, and a quick thing. Uh, if you go back to that guild page from earlier, uh, you will be able to acquire a salary every day. It's not going to be a lot, but I would recommend just grabbing it. Uh, ah, Well, th the first day when you enter, you're not going to get it. But every single day afterwards, uh, you'll get a bit of money. So just take that money. You go to your name in the guild, uh, you click A and then be like receive pay. You just click on receive pay and you'll get a little bit of silver. It's probably going to be like I don't know, 10k or 20k. Don't know how worth it is, but you might as well. You know, it's a couple of buttons away. And we got a level right there. Talk to this young lady. Looks like we're talking to our black spirit next. He's upgraded a little bit with his mini stubby ass legs. Uh, and we get another inventory slot. Nice. We 
Okay, summon Black Spirit. Oh yeah, we've got to claim the inventory slot. Don't forget to claim it. Mm. Consume it. We've got 80 inventory slots already. I think one of the one of the uh, level up rewards is actually inventory slots for the new character. Um, hopefully, it lets you transfer it between characters, but it might actually be specifically for Nova only. Uh, we will find out when that comes out. And there's a couple of skills I really want to upgrade that helps me get around instead of clearing. So I want to upgrade target chase. There we go. And I want to upgrade... How much? I've only got nine skill points. Brace. And then we'll get absolute brace at level 56 or higher. So that's going to be a while. All right. So now we have to go back to our ring menu. Target chase on there. This is just so I can get around faster. It's a bit more useful in this early game uh, compared to like clearing skills because especially after these uh, purchases that we've made, we don't really need to clear. And just thinking about it, because of these purchases we made, we can pretty much skip these Naru trash. The weapons are really bad in Naru. And honestly, it's all pretty bad. So you kind of want to get off of these as soon as possible. Um, and we were getting Abyssal Sword. And I'm like 99.99% certain that when we get the Abyssal Sword for completing the main quest line, it's got more AP than a Pen Naru weapon. So that's going to be the one we're using. And actually, I'm actually 100% certain of that. So I'm not going to be upgrading the Naru weapons anymore. I'll just upgrade the armors as we're going. Because having that little bit extra DP is going to help. But again, I'm, we get some quest DP items from Valencia and other parts. I think we get all the pieces. And yeah, you get like a special chess piece as well. Roaring dim magical chess. I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. But pretty sure all that stuff is better than Naru. So yeah, the Naru is more kind of just introducing you to enhancing. Um, but yeah, there's, there's not <laughs> it's not that great. If you guys want to know more about enhancing, I've got a couple of guides. I've got like three, four different videos on um, enhancing. I've got beginner to end game enhancing videos. Uh, I'd recommend you guys just watching the beginner stuff. And then I've got one on like, it's, it's kind of end game. It talks about how to make stacks efficiently. You should watch that too. <coughs> I'll probably do some enhancing in here as well. We're definitely going to do some. So I'll be upgrading this. So I can give you a more detailed one for like a really, really new player with very limited resources. Um, but yeah, that's going to be a little while down the road because we've got to accumulate some sharps first. We're not quite ready for that. Okay, listen to the villagers. We've actually changed this to make it easier. This used to be a bit confusing. I remember this part. You had to lean back. And uh, use some ring menu stuff to get it done. I was stuck on this bit for a hot minute when video came out back in the day. Oh, so I think we're level 49. So when you hit level 49, you got to accept this quest. Oh, wait. We're 46. Why is it giving me this quest at 46? I hope this doesn't bug anything. And you got to consume this. I hope this doesn't bug anything. Uh, you're meant to get this quest at 49, not 46. But yeah, it gives you a little thing. You eat it, you come back, you complete it. And now you should be able to get to level 50 and beyond. But anyway, that kind of threw me off a little bit. So I was like, oh, I think we're 49 because we've got that mission. But I guess not. Hopefully everything's going to be fine. But yeah, we are in Calfion now. Talk to this dude. We've got to go for a cutscene. Skipping it, as you are aware. I am not going to be going through the lore in this guide through. We are just going through stuff as quickly as we can. Since... Uh, 
we got a couple extra stuff and we got a two stack. We're going to click on this one. There you go. It succeeded that time. And our chest piece is pretty low, so we're going to click on the chest piece. Okay. Yeah, enhancing is meant to be easy, right? <laughs> uh. Yo, what is it with these 70% chances, bro? I mean, it's not really costing me anything because you can't do anything with these beginner blackstones, but enhances Naru rubbish. So, not a big deal if you actually fail. Uh, I gotta talk to this guy. Go to main quest to accept the next quest from him. It's probably gonna yeah, just talk to people. So we got to level 47 from those quests. That's pretty good. You sure no one was following you? I trust we have exercised as much caution. You can hear the volume for my mic. Hold on, let me turn that down a little bit. I'm pretty sure this Calfion part is just going to be talk to this guy, talk to that guy, talk to this guy, talk to that guy, talk to this guy, talk to that guy, and then go down to Trent, maybe. Uh, it's been, man, I don't have the best memory, and it has been a little while since I've done this. But I do remember talking to a lot of people when we got to Calfion. Uh, you might get some background noise real soon. My uh, one-year-old niece has just woken up, so she can get a little bit loud. I will mute my mic um, if they come into my room, which they will. Uh, I'll explain time my niece, so I'll be muting my mic during those portions. And probably just cutting the video, because <laughs> I'm probably going to be stopping, stop playing as well. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Depends how much she wants to come to my room. She is probably going to be a little gaming when she grows up. Because as of right now, she's one. And all she wants to do is come on my room and play with the Xbox controller. <laughs> it's Or either that or with the iPads. Uh, or any of the gadgets. My headphones. She loves the headphones. She loves gadgets. And she loves my room. I might have to get a lock for some of my... Uh, <laughs> my door and some of my stuff I'm going to have to hide when I'm not in the room because as she gets a little bit older I can see her starting to come underneath and pulling all the wires and then knocking over stuff like my PC, my Xbox that are all not on the ground so if she knocks it over the desk that is a, that could be a problem I don't have carpet floors as well they're laminated so yeah that would be a broken console go find Pehelebelebele which one's Pehelebelebele? None of these people are Pella Bella Bella. Falassi at the Calfield Market? Am I being crazy? None of these people are called that name. Uh, let me track quest. Ah, oh, okay. It's just this dude here. Doesn't have a name above his head. I'm 
obviously the one guy that doesn't have a name above his head is the one guy we've got to talk to. It's like everyone else has got a name, not this guy. Alright, so now we've got to go to Lake Kaya. I think that's in, um, it's getting closer to Trent. Yeah, we're getting closer to uh, Catfishmen. Trent's down here somewhere, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's kind of hard with the map being all covered up. But yeah, once we get around outside, uh, we're going to call our horse over. And then gallop our way across. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I'm in a mic there because my niece actually came to my room. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> she played with the control a little bit, she got bored. Uh, but yeah, we actually turned our pets onto Agile since we've cooked a decent little chunk of pet food. I also locked that into um, this uh, recently used menu as well. And we took used our market made to take some food out of the market and uh, feed the pet. So... That is that. And now we are just going to go continue with this quest. You can kind of kill those catfish men until you hit level like 49, 50. It's pretty good to use this area to power level a little bit, but we're not going to do that because we're going to get plenty of EXP from the quest line, which should be enough uh, for us to hit 50 and change. I think around 53 is when we can start comfortably grinding Nagas if we've got the gear. And that's... Do I want to do this? Probably didn't want to do that. Oh, there we go. And we've actually got a mission to kill some more catfishmen here as well. So This is probably going to take us to 48. Oh, God, that just never got freaking... WP use my skills uh, you can buy WP pots I just haven't yet uh, we'll be buying WP pots and going over where to put them on your ring menus and stuff a little bit later Didn't quite hit 48, so I'm just gonna kill a couple more mobs here. 
So we get that level. We're definitely going to kill the elite to also get some extra monies. Almost there. There we go. Wow, that was a good whiff. Oh, Kazaka was up. Rip, dude. We missed out on Kazaka. It's Kazaka Nuva. We're quite far away from Valencia. I don't want to go all the way there and die just before I get there. Especially since our horse isn't very good. Uh, so that's pretty unfortunate. Alright, we've made a little chunk through level 48 as well. We've killed these catfish men. I'm gonna hopefully be going to Trent real soon. Or maybe go to Trent right at the end. I can't exactly remember, but... Uh, we are getting close at the minute. God damn it. Relatively close to the end of the main quest line. Uh, before we get into the Valencia parts. Well, actually, I think... Oh, we have to do a Medaya quest line as well. Forgot about that. So now we actually, we've actually got a little bit uh, left to do. This guy doesn't have any more quests for me. Do I need to accept it from the Black Spirit? Is that what it is? Oh, for fuck! Just leave me alone, dude. Yes, we got to accept it from the dude. If uh, you can't figure out where to go and you go to the quest thing and it doesn't tell you where to go, uh, it's usually pull out your black spirit. So we will jump across the lake. Kill Kobe? Is his name Kobe, dude? It's cool, dude. Alright, Kobe's dead. We gotta open our Black Spirit again. Or maybe not. Gotta, okay, now we've got to talk to this dude over here. Patreo. <coughs> hey, this, this fluffy bread, whenever you get it, just eat it. Uh, and we're probably just going to eat all these meals to boost our health points a little bit. And we're going to equip these. We'll equip these for now. It's more DP. Now, where do I gotta go? Am I just gonna swim to the other side because it's gonna be closer, most likely? 
Let me make sure there is a route for me to get up. We'll get it this way. So I just double jumped and ghost stepped in the air right there just to get in a little bit closer. We're gonna cut across this way just to speed things up. Uh, let's call our horse over before we get out of range. Jump on the bad boy. We are pretty close level 49 at the minute. Once we hit level 50, uh, PvP will open up to us, both for us to be able to PvP other people and for other people to be able to PvP us. And honestly, I should still be on Olvia. I don't know why we're not on Olvia. Well, we, I know why we're not, I don't know why we didn't switch back to Olvia. We're on Madaya 1 to get into the guild, but we want to be on Olvia for the EXP boosts. Wow, NA's even got a floor in 1 and a floor in 2, dude! <laughs> oh, give us some more freaking servers on EU, son! Oh god, I'm so jealous of the NA servers in the freaking marketplace. And uh, there's, there's a lot of advantages of playing on NA. But, ping is king. So, don't don't play on a server which isn't closest to your location. Not worth it. There's even a guild login event. Get another pet here. We even need to buy a pet. I need to make sure to log in every day uh, to get these. Because claim period, event period, blah blah blah. To yada yada yada. Oh, I don't. I'm not gonna get all these rewards. None of this stuff extends to 2021. Should be able to get all these rewards. I need to make sure to do a better job of logging every day. Even if you don't play every day, just try and log in every day to get your attendance rewards. It's definitely worth. This dude. Right, now we gotta kill some Rotom dudes. So let's get that done. We've got a little bit of skill points as well that we do need to spend. Spin. Oh, you can't upgrade blade spin. Uh, where's beheading of the dead? I'll probably upgrade that. Ninja step, we're definitely gonna upgrade. Ghost step, we're gonna upgrade. Beheading, we can't upgrade. Yet. Keep it as is for a minute. There is some other stuff we can't upgrade, but the main things I'm looking to upgrade right now is beheading. Uh, just to decrease the cooldown on that. Probably ninja step is uh, not ninja step. Shadow stomp as well, actually. Let's do shadow stomp. Oh, wow. Okay, we can't upgrade. I don't really want to upgrade that. Uh, I can't upgrade that either. This stuff's pretty useless. We'll upgrade Ghost Greeting to decrease the cooldown a little bit. Because we like to Ghost Greeting. I, I like Ghost Greeting Stomp. Um, do it a lot. So... Just invest some points into it.
place drops SDK shurikens as well, didn't know that. Learn something new every day. Alright, we are very close to people being able to PvP us. We are now 49. We are one level away, or technically less than one level away. We are 97 point, I don't know, 3, 4 percent a level away, and even less now. For that PvP stage of the game, uh, unlikely at this point where we are, people are going to be flagging on us, but you never know. And honestly, if they do flag on us and they are higher level, they just have access to more skills, so they're probably going to kill us. And we don't even have our, especially if they got like their awakening and stuff unlocked already. There's no chance. Uh, Ninja pre-awakening with no succession, no awakening skills is absolute doo-doo. You've got like almost no protections. PvP, your protections is blade spin for super armor, go step for iframe. And I'm pretty sure that's it. So you're just going to get CC'd <laughs> like pretty much instantly. I guess we got block jump as well. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. We will see how that goes. Um, I don't know why this arrow, when I remember this mission every time, it takes you the long way around. Uh, do not go the long way around, just skim across towards the arrow here and it will eventually flip and show you the short path, just like that. Ah, and one thing I've, I me I've mentioned you guys do this and I haven't done it myself yet. Uh, go to Pro Shop. Where is Pro Shop? Go to Loyalties. Scroll down. Grab. Where is Elion's here? Grab one of these. There you go. We finally got our first one. Uh, and let's check our Black Spirit safe. We've got another one and a half mil. We're taking those. We'll take the Black Stones. Uh, this is 57. We're not quite ready for that yet. Uh, and let's check the mail as well. Is mail in here at the minute? Reward mail. Yeah, we're not taking these out just yet. Nothing interesting in the mail for us. And last thing, my stats, check the rewards. Make sure you claim these every day. As If you're not playing every day, try and at least log in and claim the 60 uh, minute mercenary EXP bonus. That is really, really, really gonna be helpful. We can claim these here, claim these here. Yeah, I'll just leave those. Probably just sell all this stuff on the CM and sell this to a vendor. I, don't, I can't. I was whenever I made this account, my die seals are a login reward. They're not anymore, so they're literally useless. Where is it? I could just sell it for a vendor. To a vendor next time I get to one. We got a little stash of money over here. We got over 20 mil. Uh, that pretty much paid for the money we got in the inventory. Pretty much paid for the shuriken right here. Uh, so yeah, we got our money backs. We got our money backs. And go meet Mantra in this hut, Mantra Forest. Let's have a look whilst we're auto pathing. These are all the quests that we've done. Uh, decent chunk, decent chunk, then these are all the quests left to do, also a decent chunk. This stuff here I hate, oh, dude, just take this, I hate these quests bro, so long and so 
boring. I wish they would just get yanked, yeeted from the game. But we have to do it and this one here. Like these three, I really hate them. But we are almost there. And we, <laughs> a lot of it is just talking to this guy, that guy. So we will try and plow through that stuff as quickly as humanly possible. Okay, let's kill a bunch of these dudes. The guy that way, so we'll just come this way. Uh, some people like killing ogres as early income because you might get an ogre ring. I would definitely not recommend it. I would never recommend doing that. Uh, because it's really, it's way too RNG based. Um, add the minute since you're here. Kill them, but don't, don't do this as a form of money. It's really a big waste of time. Wow, my shy on my main account kills ogres faster than this dude. Okay, yeah, definitely I'm not even going to kill another ogre. It's the only ogre I'm going to kill. We just don't have the AP or maybe it's the level. Is it the level? No, he's not even purple. We just don't have the AP. We're not killing any more ogres. That took way, way too long. We just don't have the AP. I'm just gonna ignore, ignore them from here on out. Killed the required 85 dudes here. Forever out of WP, dude. Oh, that's actually something we want to keep for later as well. This Trent, uh, Trent ring. Did we get any Trent earrings from? It's uh, don't throw this away or sell it. Any of the Trent accessories. Because uh, you will be giving these to your Shy later. We'll be coming back as well probably to grind. We want to have, you want to have two Trent earrings, two Trent rings. Uh, a Trent, do you want Trent necklace? I think we want Trent necklace as well, maybe. Yeah, I think, yeah, you do. But then the Zula belt. Uh, these accessories will all give you weight, which is really, really important for your life skill character. So you're going to be giving them to your shies. And we are done with this mission. So we're going to go hand it in. Got a narrow earring. That is not what I want to click on. Did we not get a narrow earring? We did. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's just keep going. We own this area. Talk to someone outside, one of these goblins. I'm sure he'll tell us to do something or talk to someone. Right, let's jump on a horse. Yep. 
Yeah, uh, looks like we're going to Trent now. How are we actually doing on total skill points? We've got 314. Yikes. That is nowhere near enough. We want to get at least 1600 skill points on pretty much all the characters in the game want around that, except maybe Shy. Well, except definitely Shy. So, yeah, we got some skill points to grind out for sure. We got 35 skill points to use. Let me see what I can level up at the minute. Let's take max out Fatal Blow since we're using it a lot. And that pretty much use most of my skill points. Let's see how our horse is doing in levels. It's currently level four. It learned hide kick. Oh wait, it literally just hit level four as I was getting off the horse, I think. Because it got zero percent EXP. So there you go, we finally learned another skill. Hind kick's useless, but yeah, so Darcy is now level four. At least she learned a new skill because she's been a pretty big dud up until now. Hopefully she just keeps learning skills every level. It's probably going to learn like Force Chop or something next, I'd imagine. And then if we get a little bit lucky, it'll learn what we want. Do have to get a little bit lucky. Alright, we've got to kill 50 of these guys. Uh, this is going to be a little bit annoying because... Uh, what's it called? They're pretty spread out, the Trent mobs. So it's going to take a minute. Probably gonna speed this part up, to be honest. All right, uh, so that one's done. On to the next mission. Uh, deliver the Trent Lumber to okay, So we just gotta go to this dude and talk to him. We should be going into the shrine soon. Uh, we're going to bump into Kazaka. We Hopefully that's coming up real soon. Because once we get to that Kazaka bit, we're pretty much done with the main main quest line. And then it's the Medaya quest line and some other rubbish. And then we're going to go to Valencia. And then after Valencia, we're going to be doing Kama and Dregan. And then Cameron Driggers where we get the really good accessories. Valencia is really important as well. We're going to get some good stacks. We're going to probably use those stacks to level up our SDK Shuriken. I think we've gotten all the inventory slots that we can get at the minute as well from um, from the quest line. So now we're just looking for important items, which we are going to get from doing these quests. So yeah, we're just going to be going through these for a hot minute still. We want to try and get to 200 AP. We're pretty far away, but that's with like literally... 
this is pretty much like having no accessories, so it will speed up, and we're going to get a better weapon soon as well. And upgrading this thing is going to be really, really easy. Hope, fingers crossed, is going to be really, really easy. Hopefully, we can get that to try without any issues. And I think, did I pull out a stack? I don't know if I pulled out a stack. I think we got a stack somewhere. I'm logging rewards, maybe. Yeah, we have a 25 to 35 stack as well. Let's see what we get out of that. 30 stack, that's pretty good. Be holding on to that for a hot minute. And we're going to get some pretty sick stacks um, tomorrow as well for the Nova event. I say tomorrow for the Nova event. We have to, I'm pretty sure, level her up first before we get the stacks. We do level up. I think we get like a 60 and a 70 stack. That's pretty big. Uh, that's got a lot of utility for us. Uh, I still don't know if I'm going to be using it to go for tech weapons. Because it's just so cheap. If the prices go up, I will have to. It's already gone up by 300 mil since we last checked. Uh, we, we might actually upgrade our own. Maybe we'll buy one at Pry. It's definitely going to cost more than 100 mil to get it to Pry. So we'll probably buy one at Pry and try and upgrade ourselves. Uh, but that's a little bit down the line. That is definitely a little bit down the line from where we are at the minute. Hopefully we can get some good RNG and get a really nice cheap tet. Um, but there is a chance, and it's not a small chance, it's a decent chance that we might spend more money getting our tech this way. So, it might be a lot less stressful for you guys just to not enhance and um, buy the weapon. I'm pretty used to failing at this point, I'm pretty numb to it. Uh, people think I never fail, they're like, oh, you got all these pens on your account, like, you're so RNG carried. And yes, I am RNG carried. But there is a hell of a lot of fails between uh, <laughs> not having those pens that I had and having those pens that I got. So trust me when I say I've had some bad streaks of RNG and it, it still sucks, but you kind of just get numb to it. But that feeling of success, especially at this point early, those first couple test successes you're going to get, mm, marvelous. Great feeling. Really, really good. Just quit whilst you're ahead. Kind of like when he goes to the casino, don't <laughs> quit whilst you're ahead. Don't drain all your money, dude. Don't be that guy. All right. We're all the way back into Calfion. Fantastic. Pine sap is another good item to gather to sell in the central market. I can't remember what the price is. I think it's the same as meat. 9.4. 9.45. I'm pretty sure it's the same as meat. Yeah, it's the same as meat. I mean, bear meat's a bit more, but it's hard to collect bear meat. Yeah, so lamb meat or uh, pine sap, whichever you prefer. We've already got our guys next to the meat, so we're just going to keep doing meat. Getting some fish starting to come in, we're getting a little bit of copper. A little bit of iron, some chicken, some eggs, some potatoes. It's slowly stacking up. Still going to be a little while though. Uh, we probably... Huh. 
I'll go get the beer from the central market myself instead of using my maid. Uh, let's go to... Oh, I can't sell anything to her. Okay. We'll, we'll talk to everyone we need to talk to. Then we're going to go sell some items. We'll go to the storage guy to sell these gold bars to get our money. Sell all this trash that we have at the bottom of our screens. And yeah. That is the plan for now. Uh, no conversation. I don't want to have a conversation. Oh, you gotta talk to the black spirit. Okay, just talk to the dude. Uh, get through all these chat dialogues with him so we can unlock our next quest. There we go. We've got a lot of stuff. All this stuff, you can sell it on the central market. I'm just gonna vendor it. Uh... I mean, look, you're going to get like 20k from selling the central market. You're going to get 10k roughly for vendoring it. It is half the money, but you're going to get taxed. And it just takes a while to shovel that stuff on the market. So, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Make sure you don't eat your event thing yet because you don't want to use, you don't want to eat this right now. We're holding on to that for now. I'm going to save on to the teas as well. I'm just going to eat these other meals. Hopefully by the time we get to the T's, uh, we'll be grinding so we can get some EXP boosts. I say hopefully. We'll be waiting till we grind till we start drinking the T's for the EXP boosts. Because if you read the effects of these T's, 8% combat EXP for 90 minutes, 8% uh, combat EXP for 110 minutes. So every little percentage of combat EXP is a big help in the early game. And we've got a bunch of stones at the minute. We're probably we're gonna upgrade some Naru armor at the end of this to uh, use these stones because we literally can't do anything else with them. Yeah, so this statue we're about to investigate, you just gotta like zoom in and out and like move your camera around and it will just complete. I'll show you guys what I mean. So you come to this statue, you chat with it, you inspect it. Oh, it just automatically completed. All right, maybe they made that easier as well. That that wasn't like that before. <laughs> ah, it's a good thing they've uh, simplified a few bits and bobs. All right. Uh, are we still in Calpheon? We are, but we're kind of leaving it. And I'm going to go to the storage guy first before we get to the next part of this mission to sell all these silver bars and gold bars to get our monies how's our pets doing uh, we've put our pets on agile so they can consume more food uh, so that requires them to eat more food so we can feed them more and when we feed them more uh, they will level up but wait for their food to drain don't just keep feeding them when they lose like one percent food that's not going to work just wait for their food to drain to like below 20 percent and then feed them that is a much better tactic of leveling up your pets. And the reason you want to level up your pets is they pick up stuff faster. Uh, not command. I want to go to pet information. So at the minute you see it picks up something every 7.2 seconds. That's going to drastically, drastically decrease as it levels up. Especially when it gets to level 10. Which is where we want it to be. Uh, we don't want to rent a container. We want to currency exchange. There you go. Easy 26 mil. And then we're going to come to this guy. Whatever. We're going to sell all this stuff. Like I said, uh, feel free to uh, put this on the central market. I'm just not going to. I'm going to keep this shuriken because we're going to use it for repairs later since we're going to be upgrading our own SDK shuriken. Oh, I didn't want to sell rough stone. Oh no, that's not rough stone. It looks like rough stone, but it's not rough stone. Okay. Okay, that's all the rubbish out of our inventory. Don't know if we've got any trade goods, so I'm going to go check. Uh, 
that's Imperial, Imperial Trade Manager. We do not have any trade goods. Let's pull out some beer from the central market. Store our stones in here so they're not in our inventory. We're going to sell this rainbow gem fruit. We're going to sell this ancient relic shard. Uh, we're going to drop this callus necklace. It's never going to sell in the central market. We'll sell this stuff as well. Wow, there's none on the market. NA must be big on their horse uh, breeding and leveling up for dream horses. All right, uh, ancient relic shard. Oh my God, it's just worth so little money. It's not even worth selling. We're just going to hold on to that for now. We are definitely going to hold on to that for now. But we, what we are going to do is get... Not a thousand. Just get 500 beer into our inventory so we can keep topping up our workers. We're going to put away the teas so we don't accidentally use them. We'll pull them back out once we get to grinding. Store this in there. Callus necklace, just trust me, you're not going to use it. Just drop it. And let's do some upgrading. Let's take everything to 10. Really irks me when you fail with a 70% chance this many times, dude. Alright, let's take everything to 15, I guess. Oh, that's crazy, dude. Oh, we don't have enough stones. All right, we got a couple of stuff to plus 15. That's going to boost our DP relatively significantly right there. We're going to sell these law shoes. We don't need them. Uh, I can't make it sell to the stable guy. go all right now we need to navigate to the actual quest so we just uh i think we've just hit over 200 gear score now it's not bad for, I think we've been playing for five, six, six hours. I'm not really sure. If you add up all the time on the videos, maybe add 30 minutes on top for the extra stuff that I did off camera, like leveling up those characters to level seven. Um, 200 gear score, I know it's really low, but got there in a pretty good time as it is. And it will skyrocket once we get further in the missions because <coughs> Once we get to the Valencia and Camera and Dregan, these missions give us really good rewards. <coughs> That's going to be really, really helpful. So we let's be looking forward to that. Just talk to him. You sure no one yes, we did. I trust have exercised as much caution. Talk to him again. Like to think carefully. I'd like to know your thoughts. You sure no one was following you? I trust you have exercised as much. All right, we've got a bunch more stones, so we will be leveling up the gloves.
how much is this with a one fail stack to level up? 60% and we don't have enough stone, so fuck that. Just tap that again. There we go. What the hell is this stuff? Ah, oh, just gonna drop it. I'm not gonna be doing that. Okay. I'm looking forward to when we get the um, <clears throat> our weapon over here from the main quest line. And that's going to give us a nice bump in AP, like a pretty significant bump in AP. We do need an extra attack speed. Uh, we won't worry about that right now. We're going to get the baseline gear and then we'll upgrade those kind of stats. Attack speed is important. Slash, attack speed slash casting speed, depending on if you're a melee or spellbounder character, is super, super important for every single class. You always want that maxed out. It's really easy to do once to get boss gear, but before then, it's a couple of crystals you're going to slot in to do that for you. We will uh, get onto those soon enough. Before we do, we still got plenty of quests. Plenty of goddamn quests to go through. Uh, NA seems to have a lot of outfits hit the market since I've been on. I'm just, I've seen quite a few of these hit the market today. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Must be nice if you're on NA. Having access to all those outfits, dude. One of them was even a ninja outfit, so we could have got one for our class, but 300 mil right now, I'd rather invest it in my gear than my looks. Not too worried about what I look like. We're leaving Calfion to go back into Calfion. That makes a lot of sense. Let's check out our quests. What's the order path thing? So we've got 19 more quests to do here, 15 here. Then we're going to start the Medaya quest line, which is pretty chunky. It's pretty goddamn chunky, this thing. And then it's going <clears> to, <throat> once we get through the Medaya quest line, we'll finally get access to Valencia. Valencia is great. Um, you get a lot of good rewards towards the end, or even just throughout the missions. Uh, you're going to get a bunch of stacks and some useful accessories and armors. Oh, wow. You even get an outfit. A seven-day outfit. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, you're going to get these uh, red sand coral earrings with some stones to upgrade them. This is like super, super, super useful stuff. You get two of them. Okay, well, I'm not going to keep clicking on them. You get a bunch of good things. So that's really what we went to get to. That's going to really propel us. And once we get these done, um, we'll be a pretty good level. And on top of that, we will have access to uh, a, decent, a decent chunk of AP. But it is going to be, it's still quite a few hours away before we get there. Unfortunately. As fast as we can go, it's just never fast enough, to be honest. Alright, looks like we're heading back down to Trent. not want to do that. Okay. Oh, I don't have... Uh, if you got, like... I can't remember what the name is. One of the skills on the horse that allows you to keep jumping back to back to back. 
pretty useful for going through towns and cities because uh, your jump into another jump into another jump into another jump is actually faster than auto pathing. And unfortunately, even on next gen at the minute, there are speed limits in cities and towns. So you can't go as fast as you can once you get outside of the city or town. Hopefully they change that for next gen. Um, this was put in place for previous generation of consoles because with all these NPCs, the extra CPU um, strain and GPU strain on your console, if you started going too fast in these towns and cities, bad things would happen. So that's why it was put in there, but with the new generation, it, I don't see that being a problem. So hopefully they can give us a, a, cons a new generation specific patch to uh, remove these goddamn speed limits. So we can move a little bit faster in these areas. We've been recording for quite a while now. Uh, it's been going on about two hours. I'm probably going to edit this one, to be honest. Um, cut out some, I say cut out, speed up some of the bits where not, not much is really happening. We'll see. Hopefully I'll edit this one. It depends uh, how busy I'm going to be when it comes to posting this video. It's not going to get posted in the next couple of days. I've still got to post previous episodes. I think 4, 5, and 6 needs to still be posted as of the recording of episode 7. But I'm a bit limited right now because I'm rendering a tournament that was held on EU currently on my PC and that is going to be hitting my channel hopefully on Nova release or just the same or today the night before Nova release. So it should already be out <laughs> by the time you guys watch this. By should, it's definitely already going to be out by the time you guys watch this. So if you're interested to see some endgame PvP, um, tournament style, top end players, how they perform, how their classes are doing, definitely check that out. It is. It was really fun. We had a good time. Me and Zek commentating. Definitely enjoyed ourselves. Alright, looks like we're at Hex Marie now, Hex Sanctuary. We've got a few more stones, so uh, let's try and get this to plus 15. Oh, plus 14. Pretty close. We are seven levels away from being able to uh, enter Succession slash Awakening. No mana, dude. Always the issue. No goddamn mana. Uh, and I'm hitting a freaking unkillable post instead of the skeleton. Uh, let's go to the other side. These guys seem to be grinding this side. Oh, I didn't kill him. We've got an elite up here, so let's go kill him for some silver bars. Got 
got another elite over here. And we're going to grind just a little bit longer to hit level 50 as well. Pretty goddamn close, so we might as well hit it whilst we're here, since this is a pretty good spot for EXP for where we are in the game. There we go. And now people can PvP us, so do be careful. That's that mission done. We've got to go back to that lady that we were with earlier. Okay, we've got to kill specific mobs now for this next bit. Luckily we got relatively RNG carried right there, because that was an RNG mission. You're going to start getting more of these as time goes on. Uh, RNG is a big part of this game. Everything is pretty much goddamn RNG in here. Love it or hate it, that is what it is. I think we're going to be ending the episode here. I've been recording for a little over two hours right now. Uh, we've made a pretty good uh, chunk of the way through right now. We're pretty much done with the main quest line. Next episode, we're definitely going to be finished. There's not that many left. We'll be starting on Medaya. It might take a couple episodes to get through the Medaya quest line. And then Valencia. We should be able to power through the Valencia. Oh, actually, it's the first time we're doing it is a bit different. It might take two episodes to get through the Valencia quest line. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do Valencia Part 2. Uh, let me quickly, we can check that right now if I'm going to do Valencia Part 2. Because it depends on what the rewards are. So far, I do not see anything that excites me. Might be a bit too much of a waste of time. Looks like it's a waste of time, to be honest. Let's scroll down these last couple ones. Ugh, I mean, that's okay money. Is that it? I'm pretty sure we're going to skip Valencia Part 2. We're just going to go straight into Count Sylvia. Once we get to that stage. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comment section down below. And I'll catch you in the next episode.